be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> The river rushed in when the barrier broke. The whole district went dark. I will be glad to rest. At the academy, they cut the flesh of the dead and trapped the lightning from the sky. Is that you, my dear husband? Uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Granny. 
Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're the best. I told you the knives go on. Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. His We're here to take your money, the first to die of the play. We're wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a living. Let's get a drink. I'm dry as an overseer's prick. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you got, Slackjaw gets a cut. Nothing personal. Just Bottle Street rules. What the? I know you're here. <coughs> oh, I'll find you. Where'd you run off to? <coughs> I think the little birdies are sad today. Granny, Granny, come out with me instead. Granny, 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 cause you're dead. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I think the little birdies are sad today. Mm, if I was a bird. Yes, Long I'll ago, go, Granny Rags danced at a court. Men begged to marry her. In, in her mind's I think eye, the little birdies are sad trim in a velvet, fresh and young, on her way to an evening of romance. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Careful. Just garbage. She, she treads with garbage, 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 garbage. And all is not as frail as she seems. The children sometimes circle Granny Rags. Following along, mm. I would. Yes, I would. I think the birdies are sad today. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them, rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard, or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. 
But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. Shut the door. No piggy. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Ships have stopped, stopped bringing their hulls.
Where are you? Hey! <laughs> Let me out! Heavens dies. Anyone there? Let me out! I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. What have you done to me? Anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Mayor's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. This one is going to be like over there. It is. Yeah, it's nice. 